Hi, and welcome back. Um, today <coughs> I thought I'd get a couple of the monkeys out and let you know where I'm up to with the different stages of the progress of the resto. So, um, start with the chally. So, this is where we're up to with the chally at the moment. Uh, headlights fitted. Um, needs a few bits and pieces now, like switches. Uh, I've still got to get the head for the, the engine and then uh, I can rebuild that and chuck him in uh, but it's come, up, it's come up quite well to be honest with you I'm really pleased with that one considering what it was it's um, getting bits as and when we find them as well so it's um, be nice buying that when it's done i say there's two others in the collection so it's, uh, it'll go with them with the chalice and there. Uh, just gonna get that stain out there. It's all nice and neat under there. Just gotta get that mark off there. Now, slowly getting there with it. So, I'll indicate this as well. Uh, there's probably other bits I've not thought about, but. Be all complete soon. Um, on to well, I think we've seen this one before. This is the one I use on the road at the moment. Well, it's summer. It's a French import. It's a 50 Dax. Um, it's going down well, to be honest with you. Wherever I go, it seems to attract the crowds. And even the lads on the big bikes, you know, giving me a thumbs up. And. Uh, yeah, really made up with it. So, it's got original paint. This one's not gonna get painted, it's, it's, it's original, so, you know, it's gonna have marks on it, like, as you can see in the paint. But, um, I'm happy with that, as it is. I did have the headlight, cow uh, headlight shell powder coated, along with the chain guard, so thanks for the alchemy. Uh, the match is spot on, and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's caught really well that one. And then we're on to the CT70. This is one I, I restored a few years ago now. Uh, originally came from Las Vegas, and uh, again, it was a mess when I got it. Finding parts this over here was quite hard, it, a lot of them were in the States and um, goes well. Um, I think you've seen it before on one of my videos. Um, something about these little daxes, I, I, I love uh, doing these ones. Expensive to build but worth it in the, in the outcome. So it's, uh, yeah. I'd say that the difference between the UK one and the American I well you can see that the bars are different, headlights different, mud guards are different, quite a lot different, but the frames are the same. And uh not too keen on these tires over here, but that's what they came with, so um they'll stay on it. Um yeah, made up with that one. So it's uh We'll do a start up in a minute and see what uh, where we are. This is a ST70. Again, this is one I restored a couple of years ago. Um, this one was painted by my mate Paul. Cheers, bud. Uh, not a mark on this one now. Again, this one was a complete and utter mess. Um, everything's brand new. Say a lot, a lot of the parts I get are from Shires in UK. Things like the exhaust and carburetor and anything that I need, Shires tend to be the place to go. And uh, yeah, another one that uh, I enjoy doing. Now, oh. okay. This is an ST50, I think it's a 69. <coughs> uh, this is like an oily rag restoration. Um, it's again, original paint. 
got all the marks on it, but I'm not going to touch this one. Um, got this a few years now as well, so needs a couple of bits like chain guard and such like, but it's uh, as and when. Uh, yeah, see, it's not as mint as the other one, as that one, but I'm, I'm happy the way it is, to be honest with you. Uh, it did have a plastic brake lever, but I changed it for the metal one. Apparently that denotes its early one, plastic lever. I have still got it, so if, uh, if I need to, I can put it back on. Um, that's a runner. And then this one here, this is a ST70 that uh, I got from a lovely family. Um... This was owned by the, the father and uh, he used to ride everywhere on it, bless him. So this one hasn't been touched yet. This is pretty much as it came out of the barn. It's even still got the L plate on the on the shock. Off road tyres. And uh, this one will get done this year. And then there's the original garage where it came from. Uh, Green Lane. And that was when it was last on the road in 96. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one. See, so it was loved and cherished at one point, and then, uh, that's one longer I've got it now. So I'm gonna do it justice and restore it how it should be. Um, I haven't got this one running yet. Uh, again, I think the valves are buggered on this one and uh, I'll get it running before I strip it though I think just so I know where we're up to with it now let's open the seat it's even still got all the the gubbins in there and uh, at some point it must have had a carrier or a back box so that's another one to be done um, and then this one here is the little bugger the Z50J again from the same family and uh, this one runs like a little clock and uh, again this is one I'm in two minds with this one we're to leave it alone as it is with the rip seat and uh, the marks and such like or full resto. Don't know something about this one. I don't know. I mean, it's cleaned up okay. I say it does start and run. So it's uh, I got a new side panel for it, and um, can't think what else I've got for it now. But uh, this was an import. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to get it road, le road registered in this country. Um, I'm not sure. I'd like to, but we'll see. Um, right, I'll tell you what. Let's see what, uh, which ones will run. I know the chally won't, obviously, because they've got no bloody engine there. So let's put you on there. How was that? Right, let's start with the blue one. I don't know if you can see it. No.
Okay. So there you have it. Um, both of them run. So we'll get you running one day, mate. And then um, send you daily. Brilliant. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta da now.